Social media channels are forms of communication that may be utilized to handle business, marketing, and communication problems. Organizations must include social media into their strategy as people spend time on the internet and on social media frequently. Social media strategy is an in-depth overview of everything you intend to do and expect to accomplish on social media. Creating a well-thought-out strategy for your business social media presence is beneficial. The clearer and more extensive your plan are, you'll get better results. Social media provides businesses with an effective two-way communication route, as well as a real-time broadcast outlet. Businesses may utilize this platform to interact and engage with the users and vice versa. With that, social media is increasingly becoming a powerful instrument for public communication. Social media platforms are designed to foster community and are often virtual depictions of real-world networks and groups. The social networking feature is critical. It can be used to build and sustain a network around your company or to support it. Creating, building, and sustaining a community requires organizations to actively lead and direct conversations that take place around them. These communities are often comprised of the organization's brand enthusiasts who believe they have a significant interest in the business. This social media strategy creates an atmosphere where fans may connect with the organization and provide feedback. Social media is increasingly being used as an extra medium for customer support. Customers become more used to shopping online. Because of that, there is an expectation that the business would reply to customers' inquiries via social media. Some customers have discovered that problems posted on social media are answered more rapidly. This is due to businesses being leery of leaving unsolved issues out in the open. Of course, customer service is frequently one of the major tasks of any business that manages social media strategy. Advertising exists everywhere there is an audience. This means that the more time consumers spend on social media, the more interested businesses are in advertising there. It's not simply because of the duration spent by people on social media, it's also the extensive demographic and psychographic targeting options. People may be targeted based on the information that they offer, either explicitly or by their behaviors on social media. It is critical that your venture into social media has widespread support. It may appear to be a free resource, but even if you're not paying for visibility, you must commit resources. A range of stakeholders must be aware of your social media strategies. Of course, you'll need approval for any budgetary or increased resourcing needs. Addressing the various stakeholders will also compel you to conduct the necessary study and preparation in order to proceed. Social media is more than just the social spaces with which you may connect in your own position. Listening is a great first step toward understanding the landscape. To proceed, you must consider the following. First, what conversation exists about the industry, your product, and your competitors? Secondly, are facts available? Where does it happen? And lastly, who is mostly talking? How can you add something to the conversation? After gathering data, you must analyze it. Consider social media and your brand seriously, as well as your brand's larger marketing, communication, and business concerns. View all of this from the perspective of your understanding of your local marketing and business environment. You can produce the list of platforms your brand should be, groups and communities by fans, overview of the conversation, and the list of potential brand enthusiasts and influencers. Your objectives must be based on the challenges within your business and marketing. Address how social media will be used for the organization, then set the objectives. Similarly, a guide for setting objectives is the SMART acronym. To create an action plan, you will need to accomplish the following. First, determine the stakeholders' roles and responsibilities. What social media tools are you using? You need to pledge to and maintain continuity in your online behavior. You need to create a conversation plan. Then lastly, develop tone guidelines, FAQs, content plans, and community guidelines. Execute your ideas into work and put all of your studies and preparation to the test. For instance, set up your platforms in accordance with the recommendations they provide. Above all, notify stakeholders that you are beginning your engagement efforts and ensure that tracking is in place. Continue to keep an eye out for mentions of your company and reactions to your communications. Maintain your overall strategy but prepare to adjust. In a social media strategy, you can track all information that can be beneficial. With that, you can improve your efforts and strategy to maximize the returns. 
As always, there are various tools that can aid you to achieve this step, like platform insights and analytics, web analytics, URL shorteners for link clicks, online monitoring software, and lastly, social media dashboards. Consumers now have a voice, a platform, and the opportunity to magnify their opinions due to the usage of social media. The internet's interconnected nature makes opinions easy to express and makes it simple for other customers to engage with. Everything adds up to the brand's impression. The ideal method to prove that you're paying attention to customer comments, concerns, and inquiries is to hold a conversation. When appropriate, make a comment, listen with attention, be polite and considerate, and provide value whenever feasible. Above all, businesses must have an active role in the discourse. Brands effective in connecting with their consumers are continuously on the lookout for chances to move the brand forward. They are also on the lookout for hazards that might jeopardize their image. Most of the time, the power is how the brand responds. Now, this response might range from simple engagement to the launch of an entirely new marketing campaign. Finally, the strength of the opportunity or danger determines this. First and foremost, if everything is positive, the fact that every possible comment is mostly positive is a great position to be in. During this period, the brand must do everything to create a lot of buzz. If everything is neutral, this indicates that the company is boring and is ultimately leading to danger. Then lastly, if negative things are said, there is underperformance in comparison to expectations and it must be addressed as a top priority. During this time, businesses must be extremely cautious not to instigate any more conversation than is absolutely required.